Friends, I thought I'd do a little video today about Moises AI, which separates audio tracks for you. If you're in a band or something, I think this is just absolutely incredible to, to have this resource. Uh, I've seen other videos about it. I don't know if they've covered it quite the way I'm gonna cover it. Uh, so I'm just gonna just jump right in here. Uh, here is, here are a bunch of the songs that my band is gonna be doing. Uh, starting in April, we're gonna be playing. And so let's say that we have a song like Don't Stop Believing by Journey that we wanna do. And you want to be able to hear just your part or you want to be able to slow the video down or the audio down so you can listen to it. You want us to be able to isolate uh, whatever part it is that you want to be able, that you're doing. You don't hear just the keyboards or the guitar or whatever. You can process a file like this and here's Steve Perry's vocals uh, and you can go here and mute it. <laughs> I don't want to get a copyright strike so I'm going to go back actually and use one of my songs that I've written. So I'm going to go back here, and uh, there should be one called Somewhere You'll Find Me. Yes, sir, I was trying to get our old uh, vocal singer's get or our old singer's voice off. And all I did was I separated this one by instrumental and voice. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I had the, the vocal muted there. You see, if, if any of these things come up this way once you've processed them, if you've got the S for solo or the M for mute highlighted, then you might not hear your track, or you might just hear one track or whatever. So this should be uh, the entire song for that song. I won't get a copyright strike for playing this, hopefully. So let me go ahead and hit play. So here, here is the music. I may have already minimized that music. Here comes Tracy's vocal. Somewhere there's a picture of two. Now if I mute that, his vocal's gone. Or if I want Somewhere to mute the music. The Same thing can be done for any file. It doesn't matter if you've got um, keys and bass and drums and whatever. Uh, it, I, you can go there, load a song, just upload a WAV file or an MP3, or point to a file online. You don't even have to download the file. I've been usually downloading from Amazon and then process in this way by using a WAV file, but you basically just uh, tell it to upload. You upload a, a, a file, and you, I always upload for track separation, and then you find your file that you want to go in there. So you just navigate to wherever your audio is, and you pick a file, and then it uploads the file, and then you tell it how, to, how you want to separate that file. Like you can go here and choose, on this one, for instance, I chose vocals, drums, bass, guitar, other, here long train run. That's usually how I do all of these. Uh, here are several, here's like a hard to handle and there, there are different ways I've done it. This one I did vocals, drums, bass, guitar, other. On this one I, I made sure that piano was in the mix so it would do a separate piano track. See, so it's really awesome for being able to learn songs. Uh, I think it's pretty killer. Here's. Let's see, let's do just a tad of Boys Are Back in Town. Just a second or two of it. So if I wanted to just hear the drums on that song, I could solo the drums and I could play along with the drums. Here we go. Man, I still think them cats are so there you go, crazy, isn't it? If I want to just hear the drums and the guitars. Insane, insane. If you want to learn your your leads and stuff, and it's a little bit fast or something for you, I said we go here to the end where the leads are. You can go to this where it, it automatically knows it's 162 beats. It analyzes the file. So let's say we took that down to 140 beats or something like that. I want to slow it down here so I can learn these little leads at the end. Here's 138. Let's just try this for a second. <laughs> So you see, it slows it down. Let's say we want to do it instead of doing it in A flat, which the song's in, uh, say we want to do it in A. We can go up to a standard tuning. Let's watch the list. Watch this. Yeah, if, uh, if I'm the bass player, I don't want to hear these stinking guitars. I'll solo the bass and the drums. You know, if I'm the singer, uh, then maybe I want to just mute the vocals and uh, and sing along with the song. So see. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, 
crazy. And then to go back to what you originally is, just click reset here, see? Go here and you can reset, now you're back in A flat and you're at 162 beats. The other thing that's pretty cool is it shows you the, uh, the chords down here as you play through. I'm gonna go ahead and just mute everything again so I don't get a uh, copyright strike. But as the song plays, I'm playing, it should change the chords, so check it out there. And it'll give you a warning ahead of time as to what chords can be. So it's insane, it's insane how cool it is. So you can change keys. I don't understand exactly what this does. Clicks before playback starts. Oh, isn't that cool? Clicks, so you've actually got clicks. If you want to, uh, for instance, use a metronome for, with, for this song, let's, let's, let's unmute the guitar and the, and, the, uh, and the drums for just a second. And we got, a, let's, now we're gonna have a metronome in the... So if you don't want to have the drums, if you're the drummer, and you want to just hear maybe the guitars and the bass, uh, then you can unmute that and you got this. Is that not cool? So I've done this basically for every song that we've got. We have it all split into tracks where my uh, my buddies in the band, if they want to log in as me, I'll let them log in as me and they can go in there and check and they can go here. The thing that's really cool is once you've got these, let's hear Get Back by the Beatles. And once you've uh, listen to the track. If you think it's going to be important to you or helpful to you to download it, you can go here and do export and you can download all the different separated tracks here or you can download the audio mix one or the other. <clears throat> and so that's pretty cool. Shows you what key it's in, gives you the chords, allows you to slow it down, speed it up, allows you to separate the tracks and it does a pretty dang good job. I won't say it's perfect, but I'll say it is very good. So that's a really cool little practice tool that I'm using to get up to speed on the, the songs in my band. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Maybe, maybe someone's done a better video of this than I have, but uh, there you go. That's my two cents on Moises AI. And I do have, you see here, the premium version is what I'm using here. It's not a uh, the free one, which is very limited. This one gives me, I think I have to pay, I don't know what it was. It might've been $49 a year or something like that to have access to it and to do unlimited songs. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.